Hi everybody, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Terry from Terry Jew Academy. Hi students, welcome to Seymour X 2022 preparation. Paper C, part 1. Question, given 1 over 7 equal to 0 0.142857, 142857, the two dots on top means Keep on repeating. Find the last digit when the sum of all decimal digits is 2018. This question has brought us to the first cyclic number in mathematics, which is 142857 times 1 equal to 142857. So there's an interesting observation about first cyclic number. You can multiply by 1, 2, 3, all the way to 7 respectively. You get the same combination of number arranged differently, right? So 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 times 2 equal to 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, blah, blah, blah. But do not get carried away. It stops at 142857 times 7 when you get 9999999. Alright. So the uh, let's go let us go back to the question. So I want to know when the sum is 2018, which number do we stop at? So it's uh after we have understood the first cyclic number, now the question can be rephrased as which digital number does it stop when the sum is 2018, right? So it's enough to it's enough to 1 plus 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 7 equal to uh, 27. So it's it is enough to divide 2018 by 27 by which we get 74 remaining 20 okay so when do we get 20 when do we get 20 1 plus 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus 5, right? So, we see the last the last digit when the sum reach 2018 is number 5. A clock face show 5pm. Mink was wondering at what time on the hour hand and the minute hand be equidistant from the number 5. We always convert the clock face problem to one of speed, which means to say mini hand travel one round, mini hand travel one round, our hand has traveled only one twelve of a round. Okay, so we want to uh, find the number of minutes the hour hand has traveled before the hour hand, the mini hand, and the hour hand are all the same angle from the number five. All right. If we can draw a, an imaginary line across uh, over number five, so we let the time taken be x. Okay, let the time taken be x. Let the time taken be x. The hour hand has traveled 1 over 12 x. Okay, the distance traveled by our hand is 1 over, 1 over 12 times x. The mini hand has traveled 25 scale minus x. Okay, why 25? Because every 
every between every two numbers there are five data scale, right? Five times five equal to twenty-five skills. Okay, so solving an equation like this shouldn't be too difficult. Thirteen over twelve x equal to twenty-five. Thirteen x equal to twenty-five times twelve. So you can make your multiplication uh, more friendly by using the distributive law equal to mm. two five zero plus fifty equal to three hundred. So now uh three hundred divided by thirteen by which we get twenty three minute twenty three and one nine of a minute right after 23 and 1 9 of a minute the minute hand and our hand are of equal distance from the number 5 question evaluate 1 square minus 2 square plus 3 square minus 4 square plus dot 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 plus 2 0 2 1 square minus 2022 square. So we must understand where this topic uh, comes from. It comes from difference of square, right? Difference of square. A square minus B square equal to A minus B A plus B, right? So the beauty of this question is so the original expression equal to the original expression equal to 1 minus 2 times 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 4 times 3 plus 4 now the beauty of this question is uh, we're getting minus 1 out of the difference, right? We are, we are getting minus 1 out of the difference. So later, we can remove the minor ones from uh, from every item. 2, 0, 2, 1, minus 2, 0, 2, 2, times 2, 0, 2, 2, 2, 1, plus 2, 0, 2, 2. Right, since we are getting uh, minus 1 from everybody, we can take out the minus 1. So what is left is actually a sum of series with a common difference. Okay. So it just gets uh, it just gets very big the number. So equal to minus 1, 1 plus 2, 1, 0, 2, 2, times they are all together 2, 0, 2, 2 number divided by 2, right? So, okay, you can leave the answer as it is, right? Find the value of k in 2 to the power of 83 plus k so that it is divisible by 1, 2, 7. Right. So we say uh, 2 to the power is 4. 2 to the power of 3 equal to 8. So uh, 2 to the power of 7 equal to 1, 2, 8. Okay. Now, in question, a uh, question like this is called modulo, which means to say when two numbers are divided by a same divisor, the remainder is the same. Okay, so part 1. Okay, I always show the student part 1. 2 to the power of 7 equal to 1, 2, 8. Congruent 1, modulo 1, 2, 7. Okay, so what it means is 1, 2, 8, congruent 1 
modulo 127 uh, what it simply means 128 divided by 127 the remainder is 1 1 divided by 127 the remainder is 1 okay number 2 step number 2 we want to factorize the factor okay 83 83 equal to 2 to the power of 7 times 11, right? 11, but it's not enough because 7 times 11 plus 6, then you get 84, right? So we need we need a 2 to the power of 6. Okay, now we already found out in uh, part 1, 2 to the power 7 is actually 1, right? 1 to the power 7, 2 to the power 6, mod. 1, 2, 7. As we, can, uh, as we can subtract the result, uh, extract the result from here. Equal to modulo, uh, congruent 2 to the power of 6, mod 1, 2, 7. Now, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, right? Okay, let's go back to visit the question. It's not over, right? We want... Many students are already quite happy once they reach, arrive at this step. But don't forget the value k, okay? So, 64 plus k equal to 1, 2, 7. K equal to 63. Question. Evaluate 12 and 1 6 plus 20 and 1 10 plus 30 and 1 15 plus dot 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 plus 90 and 1 over 45, right? So my first response to this question is it is a question of this form, right? But it's not immediately clear. We have to we have to add one step to this question. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not in in the immediate form of n times n plus one in the denominator. So I can split the fraction into two parts. First, the whole number, right? First, the whole number. Then all the fraction, okay? Now, as I mentioned just now, 1 over 6 equal to 2 times 3, right? 1 over 10 equal to... So, they are not in the ready form of... Uh, they are not in the ready form of a partial fraction, right? But uh, many partial fraction questions, you do need to do one or two steps to make it into a partial fraction. So let me just add up this, this one, 60. Okay, so the whole number part is 322, okay? then uh, we need to do something to the fraction to make it uh, to make it of this form all right so equal to 1 over 12 plus 1 over 20 plus 1 over 30 plus Okay, so we can now look forward to some elimination. Okay, so equal to 
322 plus 2 times uh, where students always like to say happily cancel okay happily cancel so we like left with 300 plus 2 times 1 over 3 minus 10 okay We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.